morning. Oh my god, I need to start looking in the mirror before I start like filming. <laughs> morning guys um hello it is sunday the 24th of october um 10 26 um and i thought i would do a wee vlog because i like vlogs apparently um and you can just follow me around for the day um i have the day off Oh, there's someone. As I said in my previous video, I'm house sitting, so I'm not going to show you a lot. Um, but yeah, I thought you could follow me around for the day. I'm just going to. I have a few things I think I want to do. So, first, I'm going to get into the shower and I'll see you when I'm out of it. <laughs> oh, bored. Um, hello, so I've, sorry if it's echoey, I just realised it's probably like that. Um, I just had a shower, blow dried and straightened my hair and I'm going to do my makeup. But I thought, because I've never really done like a q and a, if you will. Um, so you probably don't know, so you probably don't know much about me, so I'm just going to ask some questions. And I'll do my makeup. So if you want to know what products I use, I showed in my Acarola vlog. Um, I showed what makeup I use. So if you're interested, go and watch that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start with some questions and let's get going. So... Number one, these are kind of different questions. It's not like, mm, how old are you? Because that's boring. So, these are kind of interesting. Interesting, I don't know. You tell me. Um, but yeah, so the first question is, what's your biggest fear, I think? Yeah. Um, now, I have weird fears because I'm a weird person. Um, some of them are normal, some of them are not. So, I have a fear of vans with tinted windows. Now, I can explain. When you see a van with tinted windows, you automatically think kidnapper, you know? Like, if you see someone, like, if you can kind of see in the back, like, it's fine. But if they're tinted, especially black, oh no, actually no, yeah, white vans with tinted windows, because obviously in movies, when people get kidnapped, that's what they have, right? So... Because if, if someone's kidnapped in the background, in the background, in the back, and they get free somehow, and they're tapping on the window, no one can see them because it's tinted, right? So, that's one of my fears. Um, it was, as well as when kidnapped, I guess, that, that works too. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's one of my fears. Um, I don't like the ocean. I'm not a f like I'd go out on a boat, but like I wouldn't swim in the ocean. Um, drowning is also one of my fears, like trapped underwater. Um, bees. I don't like bees. That that's a fear. Um, and clowns. Clowns can literally die. I hate them all. Clowns are the creepiest things in the world. I don't care if they're like fake, they're not funny, they're not cute. They can literally leave. Um, yeah, I think that's, that includes all my fears. Next question. What did you want to be when you were small? <laughs> um, I wanted to be a teacher, actually. I wanted to be a kindy teacher and like I love kids like I do do enjoy the children um but I could not do that now I could not oh this is blending love that um yeah I could not do that now but yeah that's what I want to be when I was when I was younger I want to be a teacher 
I think I want, I also want to be singer too. <laughs> but what kid didn't like sing in front of the mirror? Do you know what I mean? Probably a lot of kids, but whatever. Just two pet peeves. Ooh, this could. I know I have a lot, but I can't think of any. Um, pet peeves, pet peeves. Um, slow walkers. That's a pet peeve. Um, is when people don't believe me, is that a pet peeve? No, it's not, well, not really, but I hate it when, like, I can't stand when people don't believe me because I, like, I don't lie. So when people, like, don't believe me, like, I get really upset because, like, I'm telling the truth and it, it bothers me so much, but I don't know if it's a pet peeve. Um, oh, when my food touches. I don't like it sounds so cold it, but I don't like it when my food touches. Especially like if my peas rolled into my chicken. Oh, see ya. Um, yeah. So I would say those. I can't remember what I said, but your favorite teacher in in school and why? Um, uh, my favourite teacher ever was probably my very, very first teacher. Um, she was the best teacher ever. Um, she sadly passed away, so I got a tattoo for her. It's this one. And it, you can read it if you want. It says, sometimes you'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Um, it is a Dr. Zeus quote. That was one of her favourite quotes ever. She loved Dr. Zeus. She always read Dr. Zeus books to us. Um, and this is her favourite quote by them. And this, it's actually in her memorial garden at the school I went to. Um, this quote's in the memorial garden. So she's probably my favourite teacher ever. If you had a warning label, what warning would it be um probably caution she's extremely stubborn <clears throat> i can be very stubborn which i didn't realize until i got a boyfriend but i didn't actually realize how stubborn i was but i can be very very stubborn i will admit that um very weird caution very very odd i would that would be a good warning label very odd when comfortable. That's good. I'll probably do that one. To be honest. What was your first job? Wow. I had a job at a cafe when I was 14. I got a job there. Um, I actually originally didn't get the job. Um, and I was actually kind of upset. Actually, we were at my best friend's house, and an ad came up in the in the news in our area, like like the paper. And and my mum was like to my sister, "Oh, there's a job going at this cafe," and I was like. Oh, I'll do it, like, Loki is a joke, but then I kept thinking about it, and I was like, I could get a shot. And so I emailed them, and I wasn't thinking at the time that I might be too young, but 14 is young now that I think about it. Like, my brother's 14 now, and I'm like, that is so young. Like, I can't see him, like, you know? Well, he's actually got a job now, but, like, I couldn't see him. You know, I was like, oh my god, 14 is actually so young. Anyway, so I emailed them and they arranged an interview. And I went to the interview. I still remember it so clearly, like so clearly. And so, yeah, I went there and I originally didn't get the job. She emailed me and was like, oh, sorry, we've given it to someone else. And I was like, oh, you know, that's fine. Um, oh my god, I panicked again, I couldn't see my, 
all that stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, that's fine, whatever. And then I can't remember how long it was until they emailed me again, maybe like a few days later. And they were like, oh, we've actually had another position open up. And I was like, okay. So I went there and I went for just a trial. But then they never said, like, they never really was like, okay, your trial's finished now, this is what we think. I just kind of stayed there and I got a job. So I wouldn't change that job for the world. I met, like, my best, like, like my best, but obviously most of them are adults. Um, actually all of them are adults, apart from one. But yeah, so I met so many um, friends there, like awesome people that I've known in my, my life. And I became really close with them and they were like my second family. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't change that for the world. Like if you, you're never too young, inspirational, you're never too young to like go out for a job. Maybe like 10 years old is a little young, but you know what I mean? Like I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get it, I'm a bit too young. And then I ended up getting it and I wouldn't change it for the world. Even though there were ups and downs there, full of emotions, but again, I wouldn't, it gave me the skills I have today and I'm still in a hospitality job. Like I don't love it, but like it's a job and I have those skills for life now so like the people that taught me how to make coffee two people like taught me how to coffee blah, 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 blah. two people taught me how to make coffee and I've carried that through from 14 and I'm now 20 so you know like I've still got those skills I'll never ever forget those skills and I'll never forget those people that I worked with and and I'm still friends with now and they're just like they're like a second like your co-workers do become your second family and yeah so long story short that was at a cafe um but yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it and I hope all those people are doing well now and I know they are so um, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Now, many things have been embarrassing, but the one that comes off my head... <coughs> this probably won't even sound embarrassing to anyone else, but to me, it was quite embarrassing. So, a couple months ago, actually, at my job, um, I was making coffee for someone, and I was talking to my co-worker at the same time because, you know, and Jess still remember this, this was so funny, and like it was more funny, but you know, I was, I was talking while I was making coffee, because I can multitask, and I, so yeah, I was making a flat white, and I was like, instead of going flat white, you know, like call out the coffee, I was like this, hi! And then I was like, like I yelled hi, instead of like, hi, flat white, I was like, hi, like really loud. And then I, I was like, like I immediately started laughing. I was like, I mean, flat white, but Jess couldn't, we both couldn't stop laughing. And then the guy was, like he had a sense of humor, but the guy was laughing as he like left as well. It was like, it doesn't sound embarrassing. It was actually more funny than embarrassing, but I full on, like, cause I'd normally yell flat white, even though I didn't have to yell, he was standing right there. But I was just like, hi! But I meant to say flat white, yeah. It was, it was funny at the time. And it was, it was very interesting, but that's the, again, I've had many, many embarrassing moments. Um, I just can't think of them right now. Um, yeah. Um, or would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak foreign languages? Obviously animals. I would love to talk to my dog. I'll be like, Ooh, 
So here's my question. I really want to know how dogs think. Do you know what I mean? Like, am I the only one that wants to know? You know how everyone has a voice in their head? Like, obviously animals would have that, but like, is it like a human voice? Because they can hear, they hear humans talk, you know. Or is it like, ruff, 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 in their head? Is that a dumb question? It's probably a really dumb question, but like, it's a genuine question. Like, I just want to, I just want to talk to animals. Would you rather make a phone call or send a text? Depending who the person is, send a text. I don't like calling people. A, 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 like, the, I will only call a handful of people in my life. Like, I will text. As, if there's an opportunity to text, I'll text. I'm not going to ring. Um... I'm stuck my mask. Oh, yep. Well, I've got it everywhere. What a shock. Okay, we'll do two more questions. And then... Wrap it up. Oh, cool. I love how this is loading. How many pairs of shoes do you own? See, here's the... Well, I own... Count okay, is three, four, technically five, but I only wear like two of them. Three of them. Oh, I do have six actually, but yeah, I only wear like three of them. Um, if I was rich, oh, if I was rich, I know for a fact that I would collect shoes. Like that's the one thing I'd have way too much of is shoes. For sure. I know I have mascara everywhere, but you know the rule, you've got to let it to dry. Let it to dry. Um I'm not the best at making the bed, but there we go. Now we are off. I am off. I'm by myself. Um, is that front door locked? Yep. Outfit, all black. As usual. Um, yeah. So I'm at the supermarket and I just went in and I needed... A monster. If you saw my other video, I don't know what video it was, but I was like, I never used to drink monsters, and then I worked a lot, and then now I drink them. But only the no sugar ones, because. Anyway, so they came out with a new one, and it's nowhere near me, but I found it in one countdown. Like, it's not in any place near me yet. So, it's so good. It's the mango one, so I bought two. Yeah, and I also bought these M&M's, the Hubba Bubba M&M's, if you've never tried these. They're a bit weird, but like they're a good weird, so yeah. I'm just going to head to a secondhand shop, because here's the thing, I never used to like secondhand shops, because I just used to think it was dirty and like gross, and my sister and mum are like, you realise they wash the clothes before they sell them, like they're not all dirty and gross, but I just don't like the thought of somebody else wearing it and then you're wearing it I don't know what it is but I've lightened up I've gotten used to the idea and now I'm gonna go shop on a budget um I probably won't even find anything I like but it's worth a shot to go to go look you know yeah so let's go So I looked in um, 
save mark the second hand shop and there wasn't really anything I liked so I've come to the mall well one a part of the mall I've come to Juice Mart and I'm gonna just look in normal shops <laughs> um yeah I hope everyone's having a lovely day and if you haven't I'm gonna go to the gym tonight um I normally go in the morning but I just couldn't be bothered today so I listened to myself and I'm gonna go tonight instead so yeah so I'm gonna go into the mall keep my trusty mask on and I am gonna go hopefully it's not too busy it's a few hours oh and my makeup's off my nose because of my mask. Oh. Uh, it's been a few hours. Um, I've been, I met up with my best friend in the mall and we got stuff that she needed. Um, I'll show you what I got though. I brought. Just pop it up here on my dash. That would do. Um, so I got this hat from Glasses. I've got a new sports range out and. This was, I don't know if it was a part of it, but I've got a cute hair. It's not the right size right now. I need to trim them, but it's really cute. I like it when they come down like this, like you can kind of hide. Um, so I got that. And I got two pairs of socks because mine, two of mine have got holes in them. So I got these two. I got little turtles and some butterflies. So cute and I just got from farmers I got more of my moisturizer because it it's yeah, cold oh yep yeah, there we go so yeah that's my wee shopping haul I'm excited to wear that hat but it's literally oh not focused it's 5.01 so I'm gonna head home now mm. there we go um, I'm back now um, it's 20 to 6 and I'm gonna go to the gym tonight but so for now I'm just gonna chill um, I'm gonna watch a movie um, Let's, let's try on my hat. Oh, I'm liking it. Yeah, it still needs to be fitted, but I like it. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm going to sit down and watch a movie, take my shoes off, chillax. Yeah, I hope everyone's had a good day. I have. Saw my best friend again. We haven't seen each other in a while. Um, so yeah, that was nice. I helped her pick out some stuff. And yeah, so I'm gonna pick a movie. He was very impatient with handicapped people. Was he cheating? Was he? Why? Yeah, what should we watch? Take my shoes off. There's nothing better than taking oh, taking your shoes off after you've been. Ow. Oh, cramp! Ow! Ow! Oh. There's nothing better than. Okay, no need, no need to be that loud. Should I watch Squid Game? It's so loud. What's what's the deal? It's on a hundred. That's why. Okay. Let's go to movies. Oh, John Wick. Oh my god. Me and Josh watched that movie, and it was so sad. I couldn't watch it. There was a certain part of it, and I couldn't watch it. it was so sad. It was good up until then, though. Anyway, I'm gonna watch the movie. I'll see you later. 
Hello. I'm slowly... I'm slowly fading, so I'm going to make an iced coffee. Oh, I can put it in one of these fancy glasses. That doesn't fit under there. So I'm going to go get ice. Hang on. Oh, I don't have anything under it. Oh! Oh, I didn't have anything under it. Okay, that wasn't much, but... Whatever. Oh, look at that. I've got my vanilla armor. I don't know how this is going to taste, and I don't know what type that... That coffee was. I'm definitely going to have Not bad Snip chip Look at the dust Cute, fun, different, unusual. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm bored. Like, I'm just feeling a bit down today. Um, well, I just had this in the last few hours. I'm like, um, I didn't end up going to the gym. My body was like, absolutely not. Um, I need to empty that dishwasher. Um, my, my body was literally like absolutely not so I was like okay um, I'll go tomorrow morning though because I don't deal I don't deal well deal well with um, not going to the gym like the gym's literally my happy place but I've driven so much today that I'm like no thanks uh, so I don't really know what to say. I feel like talking to someone, but... What else could I say? Well, I hope that's not too loud. Answer some more questions, maybe. Um... I got rid of them. 65 random questions. These questions are boring. What's your worst habit? I crack my knuckles a lot. Um, habit as in what though? Like, I know what a habit is, but probably cracking my knuckles. Or, I'm a very weird person. Like, I'm actually really, really weird. And I'll admit that I'm a weird person. Um, but like I would like sing random songs over and over or songs I make up, mind you. Oh, shit. Um, what's your favourite song? Oh, my favourite song right now. I have many. I don't know, I don't really have one. I just listen to the most random stuff. Get pizza topping. Mm, probably mushrooms. <laughs> Are the questions boring or am I? I don't want no scrubs. Oh my god, what animal would be the cutest if scaled down to the size of a cat? Oh. It's any animal, like an elephant. Elephant's my favorite animal. Imagine a mini elephant. It'd be so cute. What's the last photo you took? Oh, spicy. Let's go into my camera. The photo I actually took was, oh, technically this one, but that was on Instagram. 
technically it was this one technically it was this one but from my camera roll it was technically this one cheeky selfie I didn't actually post that one but cheeky selfie that's the last photo I took and I'll prove it too actually so photos see What's the most expensive thing you've broken? Nothing too major, probably like a bowl. <laughs> I'm a very clumsy person, like very, very clumsy. Like I have batters, I have bruise. I don't even know how I got that. I've just discovered another bruise on my wrist. Don't remember how I've got it. I hit my shoulder at least 50 times a day, like on a wall. Like I trip, I trip at my old job that I talked about earlier in this video my like I would trip I would I get scared easily and I'm very very clumsy so don't mind all the makeup coming off my face I was wearing a mask like all day um so like my old job my old co-worker he would scare me for a laugh he would like I would trip over everything and he would be like oh my god like how, you were so clumsy and like I'd walk into things I would hit my shoulder, I'd hit my hand, I'd, I'm surprised I didn't drop like a tray of dishes, that's one thing I didn't do, like I'd be carrying trays of dishes back to the kitchen or whatever, and I never ever dropped one of those, but which I'm, thank God, because that would have been embarrassing, but yeah, I'm, I'm like the most clumsiest person you'll ever meet, seriously. Oh, if someone narrated your life, who would you want to be the narrator? That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe like... Melissa McCarthy? That'd be funny. <laughs> if animals could talk, which animal would be the most annoying? I feel like... Parrots can talk, right? That's probably such a dumb question. Anyway, we'll take away parrots. What animal can't actually talk? Maybe like... I feel like a monkey would be kind of annoying. Or like... A chicken. Ew, I hate chickens. <laughs> if a chicken could talk, God, that would be annoying. What's the last song you sang along to? Uh, it was Witness by Rosie Darling, that's a tune, that's a very good song if you want to listen to that. It's very sad. Clean my car field and I found the car that you gave. Who do you wish you could get back into contact with? What animal would be the most terrifying could, if it could speak? Probably like a grizzly bear. What's the worst hairstyle you've ever had? Hairstyle or hair? Because back in the day, I dip dyed my hair blonde and the first few times I did it, it wasn't that good. But then the more I did it, the more like I got it down, you know what I mean? It was just one of those box ones. But, oh no, actually, Oh no, I've got it. That was bad, like, the first times I did it, but then I got better at it, right? The time I actually went to a salon, and I wanted this um, black, um, going into like a silver ombre, like it looked so good in the picture. And I went to the hairdresser, the hairdresser's really nice, my brother still goes to her, but, um, she kind of did it another way and I just agreed and it was like black on top but underneath she did it like all silver and grey with like kind of a little bit of bluey green like it was really really weird and like it looked cool but you could only see it when I tied my hair up and that's actually not what I wanted yeah I'd say that was probably the worst one or the one I don't really like the most but um, I'll do one more. 
What's the most recent show you've been watched? Binge watched. Well, the last show I watched would have been The Walking Dead, but we haven't, me and Josh haven't finished it yet because it's not all on um, Disney Plus. Like it stopped at like episode eight, of season ten. Yeah, so technically I watched The Walking Dead. But, um, the last show I actually watched, watched, like, straight up was probably, let's go look. I don't know, I'll just say The Walking Dead. Yeah. So, that's all I'm gonna say. So, I'll talk to you later. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. Um, I just got to end the video last night, so that's it's fun um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video yesterday um uh, it was just kind of a random thing um but i hope you got to know me more um yeah, this is the head i bought it's pretty cool um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it um give it a big like subscribe if you want and yeah i hope you have an awesome day today too yeah